us take an example to understand it better. Let us say that we have to design a garment for old people. So, in this slide, there are 10 age related problems which have been listed. Old age problems is old age itself, low income, generally people retire, so they are no more working, so the income level goes down. Staying at home for long time, generally they will be mostly be at home and they will spend long hours in the home itself. Then there will be muscle and joint disorders, these are typical age related problems and therefore, there will be difficulty in dressing and undressing, difficulty in wearing and carrying heavy garments. They do not like generally old people to wear heavy garments it appears that it is quite heavy and they generally discard it, generally they look for lighter garments. Sensitive and soft skin and they need something which is easy care. So, if these are the old age related problems that the old people have, then we will see key therefore, what are the requirements that is what are the design requirements. Old age what happens change of body shape, the movement becomes slow and restricted movement of limbs, people cannot move their limbs very fast. All of us have seen the old people in front of us and if you study them, these are the things that you will see that body shape generally changes, some of them becomes bent, their movements become slow, their limbs do not move fast and the extent of stretch that a normal people can go for, this is not something which is possible for them they will not be able to lift the hand to the extent that a younger man can or similarly it could be hand, it could be legs, it could be arms, whatever it is everything all movements get restricted. The other problem is income becomes low, <coughs> many of them wants to remain independent, but their income goes down and therefore, what we need is cheap dress low income and therefore, the dress has to be cheap. Then staying at home for long time, so therefore, the design has to be convenient for home environment. So, very very you know uh, casual type and garments which are you can say not very tight, not very restrictive. So, design has to be convenient for home environment. So, you have to keep in mind the what is the type of environment that could be within the home. Then muscle and joint disorder, therefore, easy doffing and donning type we have to design. Then Next is difficulty in dressing and undressing, so this also needs easy doffing and donning. The next one is difficulty in wearing and carrying heavy garments, so in that case the garment has to be light in nature, so we have to take care of the weight of the garments, how to reduce weight that should be one of the requirement and a part of the design exercise. Next sensitive soft skin, therefore, what we need 
soft field garment is required, a garment which is not going to abrade the skin, otherwise it will create a lot of rashes. So, a soft field fabric is what is required. Then easy care, so in easy care means basically the garment should be machine washable that you do not need oh, hand wash something which can be easily washed using a washing machine. So, the problems and the corresponding requirements from the designer perspectives they are listed here. Now, if these are the requirements in the garment then what could be the possible solutions. So, the requirement is first one old age requirement is change of body shape slow movement restricted movement of limbs etcetera. Solution is physiologically and anatomically convenient design that should be the solution. We have to think of a design which is physiologically and anatomically convenient. There the designer must apply his or her mind. So, next is cheap and affordable requirement is there. Therefore, we have to think of low cost garment, a garment which does not really cost much. So, cheap solutions we have to think. Next loose fitting stretchy fabric because convenient design for home environment is required. So, generally loose fitting and stretch fabrics for convenient design for home environment we need loose fitting and stretchy fabric. Next one is easy doffing and doffing, doffing. So, therefore, what we need whole front opening type and also a stretchy fabrics. The next one easy doffing and donning front open design choosing simple fastening that needs less force large size buttons, large pockets, large loops to hang the garment things like that we have to think and we have to incorporate these into the design. Then lightweight, so lightweight that is G low GSM fabric and polymeric fasteners and buttons because polymeric materials are basically low density material. So, overall weight will go down if we go for polymeric fasteners or buttons not metals, metals are basically heavy. Next comes soft feel, so soft feel fabric that is woven and knitted fabrics made from low twisted yarns if it is made from cotton or one can think of viscose rayon. These are basically viscose rayon is soft fiber in comparison to cotton also. Then soft stitching thread we need to use. So, we have to keep in mind that how the product can be made soft. Selection of fabric, selection of fiber and the type of stitch and the stitching thread we will use everything can contribute towards the soft feel. The easy care that is machine washable, so machine has to be easily washed using washing machine. So, one can washing machine should be used so that one can easily wash them there is one need not to go for dry cleaning. So, kind of fabric that we have to use that one does not need to go for dry cleaning. So, there are some fibers or some fabrics which needs dry cleaning. So, that sort of solution should not come we have to think that it should be washable by a normal standard washing machine. Next comes another aspect 
is a range of motion that we have said that this is something which is also important for design point of view. So, range of motion of humans are studied and this is in respect to shoulder joint movement, elbow joint leg movement and knee joint movement. And if we know the how much the elbow will move or shoulder will move or knee is going to move while a person is doing a certain task in a certain postures, then accordingly the object which is in front of him with which he is going to interact that will can be designed. And it is not only the object part, but also the clothing has to be such that the range of motion do not get restricted. So, therefore, what we need to do one is joint must be in neutral position. We have to see that the neutral position of the joint should be maintained when maintain postures or making movement the joints should be neutral positions. In this position the muscles and the ligaments which span the joints are stressed minimum and thus result in minimum stress. So, that is how we have to think of the designing the muscles can deliver maximum force in these positions. Similarly, the joint neutrals are examples are raised arm bent wrist when joints are not neutral turn head bent and twisted trunk. So, if the posture changes while a person doing certain task then that neutral positions of the joints get disturbed as a result there will be stress on him. Now, this can get further restricted by the garment itself. So, therefore, this is the aspect which we have to keep in mind in the design. The keep the work close to the body, if the work is too far from the body, the arms are out stressed and the trunk has to bend towards. So, this is something is not desirable because person's posture is going to be very strenuous in nature. The weight of the arms, head, trunk and possibly the weight of any load exerts a greater leverage on them on the joints under stress resulting increase in stress on muscle and joints. Point is that there is a possibility that the arm, head, trunk all these body parts and possibly the weight of any load that will going to exert a leverage on the joints and therefore, the joints will be the stressor like bending stress or moment is going to act on the joints and therefore, this there will be stress development in the joints and which will make the person feeling tired very fast or it will not be able to work for a long duration of time. The others are avoid bending forward that is whatever some equipment suppose you were designing some textile instruments or designing some textile machines or machine parts. These are the things which we have to keep in mind that the bending aspects should be minimum and the further the body is bent forward the harder it is for the muscles and the ligaments to maintain the upper body in balance. These are more relevant for while we are trying to design not the clothing, but some machines or some instruments where which is related to textile no, uh, textile activity. It could be textile instruments, it could be some other textile machines. Then twisted trunk and strain the back. 
so twisted like the trunk get twisted and so if you the work nature of the work is such the person has to turn or twist his trunk relate now uh, frequently then this can also put stress on the spine the elastic discs between the vertebrae and are stressed and the joints and the muscles on the both sides of the spine subject to asymmetric stress this is what is going to happen so therefore the such kind of you know designs needs to be avoided where there is a possibility that the person has to twist his trunk or he has to bend or lean forward or backward or sideways whatever it is all such kind of movement should be avoided uh, in the design of the equipment with which the person is going to work so alternate or uh, sudden movement and forces produces peak stresses it can produce large short duration stress if there is a sudden movement the jerky movement this also is not good and the other one is alternate postures as well as movements no postural movement should be maintained for a long period of time so we should not uh, give a task to a person who is who has to maintain the same posture over a long period of time but there are certain tasks where a person has to you know do this and therefore they get fatigued very fast or there will be some kind of pain that people like a posture while a person is sitting on a chair and working on a computer on a desktop for a long period of time because the that very postures which is not changing over time can lead to some kind of strain either in the shoulder or in the neck or in the spine so therefore some posture change is required and the same posture for a long period of time is also undesirable okay the other thing is uh, prolonged postures and repetitive movements are tiring and in the long run can lead to injuries to muscles as i already discussed this can be prevented to some extent by alternating task that you change the task so that the posture changes but the best would be to avoid movement that involve regular lifting or repetitive movements of certain body parts so these are all uh, related to the ergonomics aspect of the design the other thing is limit the duration of any continuous muscular effort so continuous stress on certain muscles as a result of prolonged postures or repetitive movement leads to localized muscle fatigue so if you do the same activity in exactly same manner for a long period of time then this muscle fatigue will set in so this is what is also important and this is we have to keep it in mind while someone is designing some some objects most people can maintain a maximum muscular effort for a no not no more than few seconds and exhausted muscles need to rest for 30 minutes to achieve a 90% recovery so you think of let us say the the postures that our handloom weaver if you think as you know they have to weave on a handloom on the question will come comes is the handloom ergonomically designed or not and what we can do to improve the design of the handloom so that these kind of stresses which can develop on the muscles or any other part of the body can be minimized so such kind of ergonomic study is required and based on those study one can think of redesigning the handlooms which are very prevalent in the country and so many people are involved in the work of the handloom and there are other also works where people are you know there are so many other you can say that you know activities or uh, the your 
work that people are doing where the postures remain same for over a long period of time. And you can see the chicken work which is being performed by the ladies in Lucknow area. You will see that they are in a bent postures and with a needle and a thread they are no, they are uh, they are passing the thread through the fabrics and making beautiful designs. But the point is that postures if you look they are in the same posture for a hour or maybe two hours or three hours which really create pains. So, all kinds of surface design using threads that people are involved in it is very very stressful. So, one can think of ki what we should do so that the level of stress is minimized. So, these are basically a type of ergonomic study and based on the research that we do we can think of redesigning either the tools or we can think of to develop some other you know, equipment which will help the, the worker in terms of improving the efficiency and minimizing their fatigue. More frequent short breaks are better than single long one. This is what is also important for muscular fatigue to be reduced. So, if there is a work where a person has to you know, take a, a specific postures, then we have to make sure that the person takes repeated short breaks, then giving them a long break. Maybe after every hour they take a break for 10 minutes and they again start the process. Again they take a break after an hour for another 10, 15 minutes like that this can be the task can be designed. With this we close this particular discussion or this topic on ergonomics. So, what we can say is that ergonomics is something which is very very relevant for the design of clothing and for the design of other equipments that the textile people are involved or people who are working in the textile arena may be involved. So, the other thing is that the anthropometry part is also very very important from the point of view of clothing design especially and also designing of the equipment. Whatever we design which one which uh, if it has to be used by human being then we have to keep in mind ki what is the you know capacity of the human, what are their sizes of different limbs and so that the design suits them and we all know that people are highly variable in nature in terms of their different parameters by which we can describe their body parts, their sizes, length, width, thickness, whatever it is, uh, there are n number of body parts. And if we think that any one of those body parts, if we want to describe it by few parameters, you will find that that parameters is varying so much between person to persons. So, everything is highly distributed, they are not fixed value. So, design cannot be done based on average no, dimensions. You have to always think of a design which will satisfy maximum number of people. So, we have to measure people, if you want to make a gloves, we have to see what is the size of the, no, of the hand and the fingers and accordingly we have to design so that it suits maximum population and therefore, the sizes have come which you see that we have small size, we have medium size, we have large size, extra large size. These have all come because the population's you know, distribution is such that we cannot have a single design which will suit the entire population. The range is so large that it is something which is not possible and therefore, we divide the population into a number of groups and we create a design which will suit that particular group. So, that is and accordingly we have small size, medium size, large size, extra large size like that. Anyway, with this 
Let us close. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.